Hey, uh, so today I'm going to talk about um, something that's super important for um, any kind of e-commerce campaign, um, specifically for free plus shipping. Uh, we're going to talk about the numbers and how to make sure you're profitable, um, how to like get to your break-even point and to see what you kind of need to be selling in order to hit the revenue that you want and the profit that you want and, and things like that, okay? So let's uh, let's go through how, how that kind of works. So um, typically the way that free plus Sorry, shipping... I'm not sure about that. So it was Alexa. Um, usually the way that free plus shipping campaigns are run is, you know, we start with a, uh, a Facebook ad here and we're going to um, take people to an opt-in page over here where obviously the offer is going to be, you know, put in your um, email address and you can get this product for free, just place shipping and, and handling. That's usually how it goes. And, you know, regardless of what you think of the model, um, if you have a good product in a good market, um, then, you know, this is still definitely very profitable and a really good way to build a customer base and things like that. There's obviously certain nuances and um, it can work better in some situations than others, but it's definitely still a viable viable strategy. So I'll show you the funnel in a minute, but um, let's have a look at the, the numbers. So we got a Facebook ad, um, we have a um, an opt-in page here, okay, and then we have a um, an order form over here where people will actually um, pay the shipping information and um, put in their delivery address and things like that. So if we're if we're just talking about some some numbers, so typically um, what we what we will try and do is we'll try and get the the purchase um, the initial purchase for under five dollars. Okay, and when I say a purchase, I mean someone paying the ship in for the free plus shipping product. Um, you know, you can get it a lot lower than that. Um, you know, you can be in the two to three dollar range, even lower if you have a good. Um, product to market fit, but anything under five dollars per sale in terms of Facebook ad cost, um, you know, you're going to be able to you're going to be able to work with that. Okay, so let's just um, let's just have a look at kind of you know how that number fits into into an overall campaign. So basically, we are going to assume that it costs us five dollars um, per sale. In Facebook ads to to get um, someone to, to buy a free plus shipping product, and like I said, that's pretty reasonable. Okay, um, we are gonna say that um, the product that we are actually selling. So usually it's gonna be obviously it's a free product. Okay, so people are not expecting um, you know something that's worth like fifty bucks or, or whatever. It's just gonna be a small item that's that has you know some kind of perceived value. People know it's not going to be um, like some amazing thing that's that's worth a lot of money. Um, so you can you know you can buy things in um, wholesale uh, for you know very low cost per unit. Set the um, set a reasonable shipping cost, okay, and people will be happy with to do a free plus shipping promotion with with that. So we're going to say the cost is five dollars per sale for Facebook ads. We're going to say um, the cost of the product is, I mean, let's say it's three dollars. Um, that's including, um, you know, any discount you're going to get for buying the product in, in bulk if you are, um, if you're going to be shipping it yourself, okay? Or let's say, you know, if you're drop shipping, um, you might want to, some people are going to be doing this strategy, drop shipping from um, AliExpress, you know, which can work as long as you are upfront with customers about shipping times. We've done this for clients and it does work, okay? So you might be paying, um, let's say, a total of one for the actual e-packet e shipping um, or 150 for the e-packet e shipping is pretty... Um, is pretty standard. So your your total cost for the the product is going to be um, it's going to be four dollars and fifty cents. Okay, so um, our total cost to get a sale five dollars in Facebook ads, and then we're going to say four fifty in fulfillments. So that's three dollars for the product. Okay, and then a hundred then a dollar fifty for e packet. And sometimes you can get e packet for free. Okay, so yeah, this is kind of like worst case scenario. Um, and if you know how to choose your suppliers, um, if you are drop shipping, then you can actually get a really high quality product for three dollars. Um, nothing like I say mind blowing, but something that's going to be more people are going to be more than happy with for free plus shipping. Okay, so you can like 
potentially say that the product is worth 15 or 20 bucks and you know people will be selling those items on Amazon and things like that for 15 20 bucks so that is you know like totally legitimate thing to uh, to do and legitimate way to go about it um, so the costs we have are um, nine dollars and fifty cents like I said so five dollars for the uh, Facebook ad cost three dollars for the product that makes eight and then the an extra 150 for e-packet shipping okay which is tracked um, shipping to the customer it will arrive via USPS so from a branding point of view um, you know that's that's the best option you're gonna get from China and that's fine um, we've, we've run campaigns like that before and we work with brands that still run campaigns um, like that. So we have nine, $9.50 as, um, as the fulfillment cost, okay? Now, now we have to think about our shipping costs. Now, it'd be kind of easy to say, oh, you should just set, set the shipping at like um, $9.95 or Nine 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 or whatever. Um, so you cover your, you know, you're at least breaking even on your costs if we can hit those numbers there. Um, in in our experience, when you put the shipping cost at about that high, about you know, kind of nine to ten bucks, you know, even like eight ninety five, nine ninety five, that is when you start to get problems with free plus shipping campaigns and where you get people, you know, they're kind of calling out your ads and being like okay, this is kind of a scam, they're really just not giving the product away, they are really just charging us a really high shipping rate for something that's really small, we know it doesn't cost that much to ship. So I wouldn't necessarily try and cover your um, fulfillment cost straight away just by putting a really high shipping price. We like to put, um, we like to put a shipping price of, um, I like to use $5.95 or $6.95. Okay, so um, that's a bit more reasonable. You know, a lot of um, e-commerce stores will charge five ninety five or six ninety five for their you know fulfillment when you're buying something from them. So people are not necessarily you know they're it's not like they're not used to paying those shipping costs. Okay, it's obviously higher than some sites, but five ninety five, six ninety five shipping is completely within the realm of what's acceptable and what other e-commerce retailers are doing online. Okay, you're not going to get many sites that are charging nine ninety five shipping for like a small packet, um, and you're going to be selling for small products for the most part when you do it in free plus shipping. So let's say we're going to do um, let's say we're going to do six ninety five. So let's call it seven dollars just to make the um, uh, so, sorry, let's do five ninety five. Let's call it six dollars to make the numbers easier. Okay, so let me just summarize. I know this is a bit scruffy, but this is just like how I how I think things out. Let me just summarize what we've got so far. It's going to cost us nine dollars fifty to fulfill every um, purchase. So five dollars in Facebook ad costs, and then four fifty over here in um, the product costs from the supplier and e-packet shipping cost, assuming we're doing the China um, drop shipping. And you know, these will be similar if we're shipping from the US, okay, if you're buying in bulk. Now, that's, so that's $9.50. We're charging the customer, um, let's say $6, so $5.95. All right, so that puts us out $3.50 so far. So if we're just selling one item, we're basically losing um, $3.50 for every sale because we're charging the customer $6 for shipping, $5.95, but it's actually costing us $9.50 to fulfill, okay? So on the front end, that doesn't look good, but this is where um, the power of um, click funnels and using marketing funnels comes in to um, actually turn this campaign, which on the face of it looks like kind of a loser, um, where we're gonna be acquiring customers but losing money doing so into a campaign where we're acquiring customers and actually making a profit okay because these numbers here assume that people just come to the site they buy one of our free plus shipping item and then they leave and that's it and we lose money a little bit okay so that's, that's kind of what's happening up here. So I'm going to go through how you do not make that happen and how you actually turn these people into um, profitable customers. So back to the top, Facebook ad, opt-in page. When they opt-in, they get to the order form, okay? First thing we're going to do with this order form is we're going to add quantities. And I'm going to show you the funnel in a minute so you can see this. Um, we're going to add quantities, okay? So they might be able to get 
you know, we said we're going to charge them six dollars for shipping and handling. It might pay, um, you know, six dollars for shipping and handling for one item. Okay, one free item plus six six dollars shipping and handling. But we might also offer them um, opportunities to get more than one. So we might do three or five, and they could get slightly preferential pricing when they do more. Okay, so they might be able to get, um, let's say, you know, one for five ninety five. Three for let's say kind of fourteen ninety five and maybe five for uh, let's call it like twenty one ninety five or something like that. So on a per item uh, on a per unit basis, they're getting slightly preferential pricing. Okay, um, and a lot of the time um, people are going to want more than one. Okay, so regardless of what you're selling, so we find the most common is people take three, uh, three of whatever the free plus shipping item is, and that's especially true if you offer um, like slightly discounted pricing per item. So really, three times six would be actually eighteen, um, but we're offering it for fifteen down here. Okay, if they buy one of one, and then even a slightly bigger discount here if they get five. So straight away we've gone from people just buying one item every time here, almost losing a little bit of money. To here, we have um, the potential of people buying more than one, okay? So on some of these sales, we're now going to be break even um, instead of losing on every sale. And on the bigger sales, when people buy three or five, depending how you price this and depending on what your actual product cost is, some of the sales are going to be profitable, okay? So we're making up some of our money already. And you might even get to the stage where um, your front end, when you add in these quantities, um, and you give people the option to buy more than one, you might get to the stage straight away where your front end is profitable by you know whatever percentage. It might break even, it might be profitable by 10, 20, 30 percent or whatever. Again, it depends on how your conversion rates are, what your product costs are, and what you want to set these tiers to. But the point is you go from a situation where you're always losing on every sale to a situation where um, you might still lose and people buy one, you might break even um, pretty much and people buy three, and you might make some profit when people buy five. So overall, you might be slightly in profit or at break even, okay? And like I said, I'll show you this in the funnel in a second. So when people buy this, um, we don't really stop there though. So they buy the offer, and then they go straight to um, the next page, which is an OTO, okay? Which is a one-time offer. And what we're doing there is we are offering them a related product to what we've just, um, the free plus shipping offer we've just given them. And this is like a bit more of a premium product, something more expensive. So this was free plus shipping to get them in the door and get them excited they've made a purchase. This over here is not free plus shipping. This is like kind of more retail price, okay? So we might be offering them a um, an OTO, like a relevant product that they can add as an upsell onto their order. And we might be offering that to them for, let's say, Nineteen ninety-five. Okay, when the cost of that product is, I don't know, maybe it costs six dollars or something. All right. So this is a fourteen dollar extra profit right here. So if you consider that here we're barely profitable, we might be profitable, um, might be break even, might be ten, twenty, thirty percent in the green. Again, we might not. But as soon as people go here, like you know, sixty. Um, this is like 66% profit or whatever when they're making the purchase um, on this on this OTO. So this basically adds ROI to the whole funnel, okay? So you might get a whole bunch of people going through here and overall you're roughly break even small profit on this stage. It only takes um, a small number of people, let's say 10% of the overall purchases to buy your one-time offer. Um, it only takes a small number of, of those people to actually increase the overall profit of your funnel dramatically, okay? Because here, may, let's say, on average, you might be making $1 profit for every purchase across all three of these bands, but for every purchase here, you're making $14 in profit um, every time because it's always $19.95 and it always costs us 6 So, like I said, if only 10 or 15% of people buy this, when they do make that, and purchase is an extra 14 bucks, okay? And it doesn't cost us any more to get them in the door. So everybody's gonna see this. So this, like I said, drastically increases the overall profitability of the funnel, all right? And then, again, when they go through this OTO page, again, I'll show you this funnel in a second. 
they will go to um, another OTO page. Whether they click yes to buy the OTO or no, thank you, I don't want it today. They'll go to another OTO, okay? Now there's a few things you can do here. You could go for an even bigger sale. You could go for something more premium. Let's say um, $39.95 and maybe this product costs you $12 to fulfill, okay? So now you've got an extra $28 profit for every um, every purchase that goes through uh, this section. So we add 14 profit per sale here and here we have 28 profit per sale. So again, we hardly need any of pe any people to um, actually buy this. It might be like 5% of the overall people that purchase here buy this, but every time we do, it's an extra $28 in profit, which, again, is gonna make a huge difference to the overall profitability of the funnel. And this can go on and on. You can do two or three or whatever. Wouldn't really recommend many, uh, many more than three, okay? So originally, you've gone from um, pretty much losing a couple of dollars on each sale to adding in these quantities and, okay, maybe we're break even at worst. Hopefully, we're slightly profitable. So now what we're doing is we're generating a big list of customers, a big list of emails that have not yet bought, and we're, we're making um, you know a small profit percentage on that, or maybe even not a small percentage, maybe a good percentage, and then we're adding extra profit here, even though we don't need many people to take this offer. And then we're adding extra profit here again, even though we don't need many people to take this offer. So when you add all this up, um, you know, a few extra profitability percentage points here, a few more here, a few more here. When everyone goes through this funnel, you are then starting to look at a free plus shipping funnel that's actually making you a good amount of profit. You might overall be making 30, 40, 50 percent overall profit on your funnel when really you just bought someone in with the intention of giving them a free item and charging them a low shipping cost. And you, what you also haven't done is you haven't annoyed people by trying to break even straight away on one sale and saying we're going to charge you $9.95 for shipping when a lot of people are going to go, oh, this is, this is not right. That's too much. I see what you're doing here. Um, and start commenting on your Facebook ads and trashing you and stuff like that. So you've given the customer a good product um, at a reasonable shipping cost, then you've offered them a way to get better pricing, and then you've offered them other relevant products, and you know a small percentage of people will buy these, and at the end of it, you have a funnel that is overall like fairly, fairly profitable, okay? There's other parts you can do to increase the um, profitability as well. We are collecting email addresses here of people that don't buy, okay? So you can do remarketing emails back to here. All these opt-ins that, um, that are not actually um, going ahead and making the purchase, they're opting in, they're seeing the order page and not buying. We can email campaign, email campaign, email campaign, again, reselling the product to them in different ways, okay? And then you can do Facebook retargeting back to all these stages too, and again, Adding a few percentage points here, a few here, it all adds up. Before you know it, you have a funnel that started as basically a giveaway of something that is now very profitable. And that's how it works. Um, key points really, if you can get into some level of profitability here using these tiers, this is a massive one, okay? Then everything that happens here, you're good. This is all extra, okay? You can even just calculate it so you break even here and use this for your profit. But well, the point is this feed it, feeds itself, you reinvest the money, and you're generating a customer and a um, customer list and a subscriber email list at the absolute worst case scenario for free, but hopefully at a really decent profit by the time you've implemented all of this. So those are how the numbers work, okay? And it's gonna be different for your business, but you know, just throw these numbers around, think, okay, you know, what do I need to um, what kind of metrics do I need to hit at different areas of the funnel, all right? Um, quickly look at the funnel that we use. You might have seen this in some of our other videos. Um, we use this funnel as a template for pretty much everything when it comes to e-commerce, whether you're doing free plus shipping or not. This template is so good. And like I said, we're giving you this template for free. Um, this is the opt-in page, okay? So people will click this button, opt-in if they want it. This is just selling the free plus shipping product. This is all filler content, so just fill it with your um, with your stuff and your products and your branding. Um, they go to the order form, okay? 
when they've they put in their email address, where should we ship your free product address, credit card stuff, and then, oh, this is a demo, so it's not showing the quantities, it should, okay, so this usually would, um, when this is live, it will show you the options, you know, buy one for this, buy three for that, buy five for that, and people can select the radio button for whichever option they want, so this is where you implement um, this part, okay, the order form quantities, they go in here, and these will populate automatically when you set this up in ClickFunnels for one, three, and five, and people are like, oh, I can get three for a discount, I can get five for an even bigger discount. You have this here, look, why don't you buy more, send them to your friends, give them as gifts or whatever. That's the order form. And then OTO, looks like this, you know, get one more. Um, this is OTO one, so again, this is where I really make our profit. And um, do you want this at 45% discount, or whatever you want the discount to be, Yes, I do. No, I don't. Um, yes, charges their card again. No, takes them to the next step. The next step is this, which is another um, OTO, okay, for a different product. And um, whether they said yes or no to the last one, you know, do they want this? Again, click this, it will charge their card again. Click no, it will take them to the next step. And that is this stage. Uh, that was this stage and this stage that we've just looked at, okay? So the two OTOs that really, really um, make the funnel more profitable overall. And then they just get an order confirmation page at the end to show everything they've ordered. And, and that is it. That is this flow that people go through. And you can, we're giving you this template, you can take it, okay? Um, like I said, we use this template for almost everything we do at Ecom Focus, whether you're doing free, free plus shipping or not. Um, so customize it to your brand. Click the link below this video and you can, um, you can copy the funnel directly into your ClickFunnels account. It will be an editable version, just like you see me playing with there. Go in, change all the stuff out for your brand. Um, do what you need to do to make it correct for your business. Um, remember to change all the placeholder stuff. Um, if you don't have a ClickFunnels account, using the link below will create you a free trial 14-day ClickFunnels account with that editable funnel already in it for free. Okay, so you just get everything for free. Um, and you have two weeks to decide if you want ClickFunnels or not. Um, and that is it. That is how you work out the numbers for free plus shipping. Obviously, this is different for every business, so you need to just take like the principles I was talking about here and kind of think, okay, how do these actually apply to me? What do my numbers look like? But these are some pretty good like target numbers, okay, for a general free plus shipping of like a, a small kind of lightweight product, all right? So that's the starting point. I hope that helps. You should be able to model something from there and ask us um, any questions if you, if you have them. And yeah, just get this funnel by clicking the link below and getting it straight into your account to do what you please with. There is no charge for the funnel. All right, thanks a lot.